Apple and Epic Games are entering a trial that could impact the heart of Apple's App Store. The 15 to 30% fee that the iPhone maker takes from developers who charge for paid App Store downloads as well as in-app purchases and subscriptions. This matter kicked into high gear when Epic replaced its payment system inside of its popular game Fortnite with its own payment system. That circumvented Apple's in-app purchase system, which takes the fee. That, of course, led Apple to remove Fortnite from the App Store. Hours later, <laughs> Epic sued Apple, and here we are today. Olga, you cover Epic Games. What's their argument in this trial, and how do you think they'll fare? So Epic argues that Apple has monopoly power in the iOS app distribution market. Uh, it argues that Apple locks developers into selling their iOS apps only through the uh, App Store, and it forces developers to use its own payment functionality, and Epic would like to change all of that. Epic uh, founder Tim Sweeney is going to uh, testify and say this is unfair, and Epic uh, is going to have um, a slew of uh, witnesses, such as economists, who are going to say that Apple is just greedy and is, uh, you know, trying to take developers' money away from them. And a lot of legal experts say that Epic has a fair shot of, uh, at winning, but even if it loses, it, it will probably win mind share of a lot of developers and consumers. And Mark, how do you see the Apple side of the story? Sort of what are Apple's arguments and what are their chances of winning? Yeah, I mean, Apple's perspective is essentially twofold. One, there is a contract in place. So no matter how a developer feels, no matter how we feel or Epic feels about the situation, uh, Epic, for all intents and purposes, does have a contractual agreement with Apple for that 15 to 30% cut that Apple takes from all other developers. So that alone, I think, gives Apple a potential leg up in this lawsuit, given the presence of contracts. Secondary, Apple says that their 15 to 30% cut is either lower than the industry average is or is on par uh, with the industry. Of course, that's arguable. There's a corner of people who say that the industry is only at that tier because Apple set the tier uh, when they launched the App Store uh, 10 years ago. However, for Apple, there are billions of dollars at stake. Apple made an average of 120 million per year between 2018 and 2020 on revenue share from Fortnite alone, right? If Epic wins or if Epic does make a solid argument in court and does develop developer mindshare, like you said, Olga, the floodgates could potentially open for other developers to have a backlash against Apple, sue Apple, fight Apple in other ways. And Apple made an estimated $20 billion uh, in fiscal 2020 off of commissions from the App Store. So that is a lot of money at stake uh, for the iPhone maker.